So we are back and today we are going to be reacting to some of your nasty ass sex stories. Ooh, naughty be. naughty. We reached out on Instagram and these are your nasty confessions. Ooh, everyone here is probably anonymous. Yep, so we're going to go through them one by one and find out exactly how nasty y'all be. Without further ado, uh, we have Google Forms, sorry, in front of us. So we're gonna go through them one by one. We're gonna try and guess if there's uh, any like Titan people who come to this because <laughs> you know. Story number one. It's from Anonymous, of course, and it says, My date once vomited while we're having sex. We met when we were clubbing and we drank tons of alcohol. He decided to ask me if I would like to have a one night stand with him. I did not think of much, hence I agreed. One thing led to another, I ended up releasing all the vodka red bulls I had on his chest. <laughs> Girl! Number one, you can't call him a date if it's a one night stand. Right. That's number one. Do people just casually be like, let's go have a one night stand? I'm such a boomer, we don't do this kind of things. Do they do that nowadays? Like, hey Jess! I don't know about nowadays, <laughs> but back then, when I was like 18, okay, maybe not so young, <laughs> like 21. <laughs> Sorry, mama. You know, when I was like 21, I'll go to the club and then like, you know, sometimes you're on the dance floor and they're like, can I grind up on you? Oh. And then they were like, you know, start kissing her. And then after that, they will just be like, you want to come over? And then that's like, you know, that's like, you confirm no one. Mine is more like traditional. They will come to my parents and be like, hello, <laughs> can, can I date your... <laughs> <laughs> this is the difference between two of us, but I have since changed. Can we do like a rating, like a, out of 10, how nasty this be? This is like 10. This is like a 15 for me. If anyone vomits on my chest, you are going home. <laughs> if I'm a guy and a girl vomits on my, on my chest, I ain't booking the grab for you. The surprising thing about this story, right, is that you know usually when you're about to get like nasty with someone, like dirty in bed and stuff, you can kind of tell if they're a little bit too drunk for that shit. Mm. So like how did you miss all the signs? Yeah. How did he like, oh yeah, you know what, suck my d while you're about to vomit? <laughs> like how? <laughs> that's asking for well, it, probably okay? That, probably that's how. Her gag reflex <laughs> is not on point and you still ask for it. So I gotta say that's on you, so. You nasty as well, boy. Moving on. Number Story two. number two. I love my boyfriend, but somehow he cannot finish without the help of pornography. This is already <gasps> rubbing me off the wrong way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Midway during sex, he would finish off by watching porn in the toilet. This Can we pause so here offensive. for one second? I want to reenact this scene. <laughs> Baby, I go toilet. <laughs> like how? <laughs> It's like we already like, mm -hmm, then you're like, oh, you like, oh yeah, but like, I'm gonna finish off in the toilet. Baby, wait, where's my phone? You wait, ah. where's my phone? <laughs> then you like flip the blanket. How? But I will not judge, I'll continue reading. I don't know how to feel about it. He says he is still very much attracted to me. But then, he doesn't understand why he can't finish when he's in me. Am I doing something wrong? Is this normal? It ain't normal. It ain't normal. Um, but why do you want to finish? Why do you want him to finish in you, girl? Yeah, no. You nasty. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have a cake. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> you know life's too short for bad sex. The fact that he cannot finish without pornography is kind of weird. I don't know about you, but I don't want a boyfriend who's like the Lulu. Oh. The Lulu is a Lulu. It's a Lulu. It ain't no Lulu. But I think that it would be better, right, if they would watch porn together and like release together. Correct. Would that have been a better? That would have been better. Right. I mean, you can explore that option. But okay, this one nasty waiting. I won't. So, I won't call it very nasty. No, I. I feel like I would be more sad. sad. So on the set scale, it's about a 10 for me yeah, as well. Yeah, it's about a 10 for me. Yeah. And I think just to kind of like round this up, um, yeah, I think if you're still young, reconsider your options. Mm -hmm. And ain't no man should make you feel like you deserve bad sex. Yeah. I am in a long-term relationship with my girlfriend. After a year of dating, my mother told me to introduce my girlfriend to her. She was shocked to find out that the girl is my stepsister. Help! I can't seem to let her go. So currently, we're secretly dating. Uh, that's some kind of weird <laughs> kink right there. This is like giving me Korean drama vibes. It's like, giving me like day, pornography like, oh, vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Korean drama. Korean Which drama? Korean drama? Like you date this girl suddenly. The you never scroll like, before oh. pornography websites, is it? Every video. Eh? <laughs> Not my stepsister. <laughs> I don't know why they put the not in front. <laughs> They'll be like, not. not. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, I think as long as there's no like blood twice, it's kind of fine. Yeah, actually, fine, actually you know? it's kind of okay though. As long right? as there's no form of incest. Yeah, correct. Okay. I don't think there's anything nasty. Yeah, yeah there's nothing for nasty. Me. Yeah. It's like 3 out of 10, but the drama drama scale yes. is like 15 out of 10. It could go way up. Yeah. This could potentially be uh, made into a movie. Yes. Korean drama. Pornography. <laughs> Talking about different movies right here. This happened before Circuit Breaker. So my ex-boss and I had a secret relationship. To the point we were actively having sex in our office. Okay, that's kind of hot. Wow. I maybe shouldn't have said that. Visualize it. <laughs> okay, it started off as a joke and banter till one day we decided to meet in the office on a weekend when nobody's around to have dinner and do a little bit of work. F***ing liar, okay? No one ever meets in the office on weekend to do dinner yeah. and work, okay? If you don't want to have sex, just put it out there lah, yeah! But the sexual tension was high and we know it's about to go down. So it happened and we act like nothing happened the following week. It continues even during circuit breaker. We'll secretly meet in the office or even my ex-boss's house just to satisfy each other's needs. Okay, first and foremost, is this ex-boss married? Sounds like it. Right. Okay, so there's a lot of problems with this story. Yeah. Cheating. They say it continued even during circuit breaker. What the f***? I had to be f***ing horny during circuit breaker <laughs> And here you are satisfying your needs <laughs> Not gonna lie, the sex in the office thing is... Yes, it's actually kind of hot It's kind of hot, it's a little like a fantasy thing for me But yeah, I would say if I had a chance to choose a spot in the office where I could have sex, it would be... Pantry? Ah. Mm. Okay, but still you nasty, this one is nasty um, The whole circuit breaker thing does it for me like the f you guys be breaking yeah. rules just to have sex, you horny On a nasty scale, I would say this, this may be like 100 out of 10. Moving okay. on, Jasmine. Okay, sorry. So, few years back, I used to have an affair with this person while I was on a relationship. To so the point we went overseas while I told my then girlfriend that I'm gonna meet my family there. Hmm. Huh. Okay, I'm already done. Yeah. So when we reached the destination, we went for a three-day straight road trip with no particular endpoint. Along the way, we decided to go on an adventure, and the goal was to have sex in every city we visit. We did it and went back to Singapore as if nothing happened. <coughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? I hate cheaters, and I hate cheaters who have a good time with their life. Like, I think all cheaters should just burn in hell like, and be castrated. This person went overseas for what? Maybe five days? Three days. <laughs> Three days straight road uh -huh. trip. Uh -huh. And to have sex in every city. It's like, why couldn't... I don't know, you know, like when people cheat, right? I feel like they always plan their wildest fantasies with the person they want to cheat, but they never want to put it with the person that they're in a relationship with. Yes. And make it exciting. Why? Why oh can't my you do that with the person that you're with? I know, right? And make it exciting. I I'm like, like, this is beyond me. I don't understand. Yes. Yes, I agree with you 100% exactly what she said because I have been in like a similar situation before and I know, I think those of you who have been watching like Ladies First, you know, you have probably heard me talk about my cheating ex-boyfriend before. Like, you know, like if you have fantasies, communicate. Tell me and we can, you know, kind of like execute them together. If this was like done in like proper taste, like you went on a road trip with his girlfriend and everything instead of, you know, cheating, right? I would say it's actually quite sweet. Like, I can imagine doing yeah. a road trip and then, you know, because sometimes driving can be quite tiring I mean, yes. and you need like a reset of like, you know, like your mental health, right? Because, you know, can you imagine stopping below like some like, tree, yeah. like by the beach, hearing the waves? Oh, okay. Cliff a bit scary. <laughs> Some cliff. <clears throat> but like beach, you know, then you pull down the... You like unwind the window, then you can hear yeah, the waves yeah. crashing. Like, I can imagine that must be nice. <laughs> but still, you are cheating. So, you don't deserve any of that nice things in life. But anyway, on a nasty level, that would be... What, 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 what's your that's nasty level? Like, that's the nastiest shit This is me. like... Cheating not, is uh, the worst. Cheating is... Uh-uh. It's This is out. like the... The nasty scale has gone and broke and broke. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's broken. Yeah. I met this guy on OKC. What is OKC? OKQP. Oh, sorry, I'm not on any app, my guy. Sorry, yeah. I'm also not. <laughs> OKC, OKQP. And we hit it off right away. I honestly think he was quite the catch as he feel. He, I feel. As I feel like he was really good looking and nice. Okay. To a point that I would question why he would even want to be with me. But whatever, I couldn't let him under the sheets too quick. We did everything together and things started getting hotter and heavier. But I refused to let him in so fast lah. 
take it slow, you know. So one day we were at Teo Heng singing songs and things got really sexy. I mean, I guess there was something exciting about doing it in a karaoke room. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to let what happens happen. So then after a while, his hands went into my pants and I let it happen. Then I noticed something extremely unusual. I was super, super wet down there. It was weird because I wasn't that aroused. Then I realized that the stream never ended and it slowly dawned on me that I just got my period. I stopped everything to reveal his bloody hand. He rushed to the toilet to wash his hands and as he did that, I pulled as many wet wipes as I could because I realized I had spilled over on the sofa as well. Girl, okay, super paise, but hey, me and my boyfriend are still going strong. In fact, he's now my fiancé and we get married next year. Y'all, so cute, get your lovey the face. This is so cute actually, I think, actually I find this super cute. Quite cute lah, but okay, the whole period thing, has it happened to you before? Um, no, because I feel like I'm very well aware that when I'm going to have my period. No lah, but very cute lah, maybe because he excited. Okay, uh, to be honest, I want to ask you, like, you a question, yeah. okay? And to everyone out there who's watching this, you know, let me know in the comments. If you're a girl and you're having sex with a guy for the first time, and he comes kind of fast, I wouldn't say like two minutes fast, but maybe like five minutes fast. Would you take that as a compliment? A compliment to who? <laughs> to me? Yeah. Because I what, I managed to make him come in five Yeah, minutes. like cause he's so excited to have sex with you. I guess, okay, like, I, I, I guess I maybe maybe if I was younger and I was naive, I'd be like, oh my god, he, he came for me right away just by looking at me or whatever. Mm -hmm. But as I grow older, mm -hmm. You know that's not the case. So you won't take it as a compliment? I won't take it will as a you compliment. feel like, then how would you feel if a guy comes really quickly on the first sex? I will feel a bit disappointed though. I will be really disappointed because I feel like you had your fun, but it's my fun. I'm only just getting started. I'm only just like, hey, that's Yeah, like, I just took out my like, bra only, you know. I used to think the same. I used to think like, oh, it's actually so sweet when they come really fast. It means like they must be really attracted to me. Boy, was I a f dumb b yeah. Yes. <laughs> nasty level. Okay, the only nasty thing here is not really the story. It's but not it's, the act. Yeah, of it's not sex. the act of sex, but it's like the, the period yeah, the in period. the room. Yeah. But okay lah, cute lah. I wish you all a happy and blissful marriage yes, and congratulations. Course, good sex for the rest of your life. Mwah. All right, Jasmine. Which was your nastiest story? My nastiest story is probably like story number one, the one where he vomited on her chest, yes. the vodka red bull one. That's gotta go, man. If anyone ever vomits my chest. Make sure you hold your way out because I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> yeah, number one, where the date once vomited while they were having sex. Alright, guys, so we have come to the end of this video. So, if you guys want to see us doing more of this, you know, where we kind of review your nasty ass little secrets or confessions uh, you might want to follow us on Instagram and that's where you can actually submit your confessions to us and we'll probably you know review them again in the next episode make sure it's nasty okay yeah don't send me sure. boring stuff yes us. like you're boring I mean uh, okay keep it then we fell in love no okay, okay. quite cute what? hater <laughs> okay, anyway yeah see you guys next time bye, bye.